need your help. Evening, sir. You, boy! What do you think you're doing? Nothing. What about you? Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I, I'm looking for naughty boys. I, I mean, I'm looking for naughty boys in the wrong parts of town. Uh, uh, what I mean, Hopkins, is that I'm glad to report that in that disgusting store, I did not find one naughty boy. Not one. Well, that's good, sir, because filth like that can really rot a young man's mind. Exactly! That's why I got this research, to check on the dangers. It's good to see a teacher so dedicated to his work, sir. Thank you! No problem. But I'll tell you, Hopkins, I'm quite worn out with all this work. I don't, uh, suppose you could do me a favor. What? Well, uh, how do I put this? I'm in charge of the laundry this week, but I got so carried away with my research that I forgot to collect it all at the same time. <laughs> it would be embarrassing to ask for it now. Oh, uh, maybe you could help, but you'll uh, have to be discreet. Discretion is my middle name, sir. Great! So go and collect all the dirty laundry from the, uh, girls' dorm. Okay. And if you get caught, I know nothing about it. I won't say anything, sir. In fact, I'll make it clear that I never saw you coming out of an adult store clutching illicit magazines. Good boy! Now hurry up and bring them to me by the school gates, but... Shh. I'll see you soon, Jimmy. Hang on to that. might come in handy. I can't tell mom about that at all. She'd be so mad. I was just looking for one of those. Got it.
what might do, we know it. nothing to be concerned about. Maybe. What can you do? I hope these are worth all the trouble I just went through. Yes, thanks for this laundry. Here's some money for your troubles. Done and done right. Look, there he is. I was wondering if you'd show up, Hopkins. Nice aquaberry sweater. Trey Sheep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. You look a bit like my gardener at home. Yeah, so what? Yes, well, enough uh, about uh, gardeners yeah. or any domestic help. Listen, me and the champs were planning a little revenge hit on old hat trick. We don't like what he did to that old soak Galloway. A chap can have a drink if he bloody hell wants to. So? <laughs> so, my friend, are you, as they say, in? Sure. Are you English? Well, no. I just speak this way because I'm very insecure. You see, my father is a self-made man, so I pretend to be old money, but in fact, I'm really nouveau riche. But less about me, dear boy. Listen, we're going to egg that old codger's house. Cool. Smashing! You go get some eggs and meet me and the chaps back at my house. Got the eggs, Hopkins? You bet. Then give them to me. Take them. Smashing. Now tell me, Hopkins, is it true you said I was inbred? No. Because first cousins is legal, my friend. Legal. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and just because my elder brother doesn't have a chin and ended up in a lunatic asylum, it doesn't mean anything. Whatever, Tad. Your family is your business. Don't lie, Jimmy. You said Tad was probably a hermaphrodite with that much inbreeding. A hermaphro what? Don't act dumb. You said his mom was also legally his aunt, and that he probably had webbed toes. I don't. Well, just only on one foot. Tad, you're not gonna take that kind of crap from this scumbag, are you? You've... You, you've been rude about mommy. Let's get this, Papa. Inbred, I suppose I better beat you.
the camp, right? Hey, Pete. Where is everybody? Oh, Jimmy, it's you. Yeah? Guess you want to kill Gary now that he's turned most of the school against you and got those rich kids to throw eggs at you. Gary will get what's coming to him. What's wrong with you? Nothing. Well, you're sitting around watching TV by yourself like a loser. Someone crap in your bed? What's wrong? Well, for one moment, I had friends. Just one moment. You and Gary. Yeah, Gary's a snake, and you're a psychopath. Ah, come you on. You both bullied me mercilessly, but... At least I wasn't left out. And now I'm back on my own and I'm too cool to be a dork and I'm too dorky to be anything else. You're not on your own. Where is everybody? At the bike race at Old Bullworth Vale. By shiny bikes at the beach. Bike race? Why didn't you say so? Come on. We'll show you how gentlemen on, behave themselves. I knew I could do it. Well, yeah, you want to get a C-785. Then dismantle it and recouple with a 767 in titanium. Very expensive, but it will make your machine fly. That's what the pros do. Really? I was gonna get the 976 because I thought it would make me look important amongst my peer group. A 976? What are you, a girl? 
Oh, here's the kid who won the race. Hey. You came for your trophy, huh? Yep. Here she is. Beautiful. Molded plastic, covered in aluminum wrap, with your name misspelled on it. Excellent. Great. Look at this. A bunch of guys whose career aspirations are to work in stores. Fabulous. I love it when people know their place in life. <laughs> <laughs> well, your place in life is in my toilet, you trust fun turd. Do you even have flushing toilets in your trailer? I couldn't imagine it. You guys are a bunch of scumbags, aren't you? What you got? Bring it, come on. Nice trophy. Hey, let me see. Come on, hey, <laughs> give me that back! Chaps. I'm all geared up to crank you one. Get back. You want to bury you or kill me? You're gonna regret this. You are a pathetic. I think I want to go. Trash. Fellas, over here. I'll make you pay for this for the rest. You are messing with Glad that's done. Jimmy, I need you to do me a favor. Hello? You, boy, don't just stand there. Come and help! What do you want, sir? Why did you send for me? I sent for you? Oh, yes, I did. Look at that plant, boy. Magnificent, isn't it? A crapula maxima fortissima. A rare and precious Venus flytrap. Unfortunately, there is a boy at this school, Darby Harrington, who was given such a plant from his father. His father is not a nice man. Darby is not a nice boy. They keep that plant to belittle my collection. There are two sides to biology, boy. Life! and death. Do I make myself clear? Very clear, sir. You want me to kill Darby Harrington? Yeah, I'll get right on that. Not the boy, boy! The plant, boy! Kill the plant! Oh, right. I should write you up for dressing like that. Fight! Sure thing. Well, I'm going to work at my father's firm this summer. He's making you work? What a bastard. 
I'm See off. you. So I asked mother, why can't I get My daddy sues. Don't move. I need to punch. My boxing coach prepared me for this. Get out of my way. I'm unleashing punch power on your cookies. My hands are registered. I know you did. That's that nonsense dealt with. <laughs>